Hey everybody, uh, just coming back with another tutorial. I finished up a set and um, realized this was something that probably a lot of people were having issues with without realizing it. Um, so sometimes when you make a set in Blender, um, you may notice when you t export this over to, say, like Prusa Slicer or um, Cheeto Box, what may have you, um, sometimes the slicer doesn't like the file that you've given it. Uh, either it calls it uh, a non-manifold um, solid, or um, you may notice that your die is hollow when it wasn't intended to be, or that something's not rendering properly, like a logo. Um, and sometimes that is an issue of uh, flip normals, um, or sometimes that is a bunch of vertices stacked on top of each other, and the um, slicer program not really knowing what to do with that. Um, so here's how to um, see if you have that issue and how to fix uh, a number of those issues really quickly. So um, I have a set of dice here. Um, I've thrown some bumpers on them as you can see. Um, they're pretty much good to go except for I know that I have some flip faces on here. And visually there's nothing that would show me that I actually have this. Um, I only know this because this is uh, a bit of an old set, actually, um, that I'm coming back and revising, but also because um, sometimes the Boolean process, uh, putting the numbers on them, will do that. But also with the bumper um, process, sometimes it will throw extra vertices on top of them, uh, or just if you have a weird font, um, or even some just sometimes just a really high resolution font, it can do that. So let's look at how to do that. So number one, let's find out if my um, faces are all oriented the same. So, I'm going to go ahead and highlight all these. I really don't need to, but let's go up to this little icon up here in Viewport and come down to Face Orientation. And if they're all facing the same way, outside should be blue. Red is for inside. And you'll notice a bunch of my numbers are flipped outside. So, in order to fix this, I'm going to hit Tab uh, after selecting all of them to go into Edit Mode. Um, I'm going to have it in x-ray mode here. I've hit Alt Z to do that. Um, you don't actually need to. You can also come up here to do this wireframe. Same thing. Um, but just to show you, you can either box select everything or you can hit A to select all. Um, and then from here, I'm going to go to my mesh normals. You can also hit Alt N to get here. And then I want to recalculate all of these to be the outside image. Uh, so now I can hit tab again and uh, turn off this x-ray mode. And hey, you can now see everything is facing outside. That's great. Um, so that's step one. Uh, going to take care of a lot of our issues. Step two, um, we may have some vertices overlapping each other. There's not a great way to see it. Even if we um, were to go select all of these, put them in x-ray mode, only look at um, the vertices here, uh, I'm certainly not going to be able to tell from all this. So here's a good way to get there. We're going to go ahead and select everything, right click, merge vertices, and you do have to either have um, this vertex mode selected. Uh, you can get there either by pressing 1 on your keyboard or um, by just clicking up here. Both those are fine, but right click and you'll see merge vertices. If you have more than one vertice selected, um, this option shows up. And we're going to say by distance. By default, this distance is extremely tiny. And you'll see here that I've moved 420 vertices. Um, so 420 different spots where that may have been an issue for me in a slicer program. But now these should all be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and control S to save and I'm going to export these later. Thanks. Hope this helps someone. Have a good day.